Greetings, good people. And thank you for joining me in this conversation about turning your pain into power. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about the wound. And instead of being afraid of the wound, developing a different relationship with the wound, instead of denying that it exists in us, in our relationships, in our homes, our families, our neighborhoods, our lineages, and in renewing our relationship, discovering that the wound actually holds the key to our freedom, joy, and expansion. Welcome to my channel. My name is Antoinette Cooper, and my channel, Antoinette Be Free, is for Black people who love freedom, are about that freedom, <laughs> or want to know more about this liberation that echoes through our bones. Today's video though was inspired by Lewis Howe's interview video titled, Holocaust Survivor Reveals How to Find Meaning and Purpose in Life with Dr. Edith Egger. While I was watching that video, I was so moved by the framing of the wound by Dr. Egger as cherished. The things that we cherish, and you know it varies depending on culture but i think of the things that i cherished growing up certain cartoons certain cereals um, in the household what was cherished was appearances um, in a former relationship cars were cherished and when we think of the things that we cherish and the relationship with the cherished and how we treat that which we cherish. I know for the cars that were cherished in my relationship, they were always detailed. Um, they were always cleaned. They were always taken care of. In terms of appearances and the household that I grew up in, that which was cherished um, eyelashes were proper, hair was on point, makeup was on point, clothes was on point, like the outer appearance. It was very clear that the outer appearance was cherished. And that which we cherished, we invest into, we invest resources, we invest time into. And then I think of the wound. What would it look like to have the wound cherished? It would mean that the wound is given attention, resources, guardianship. The wound is nourished. Anything that is cherished experiences elevation. But how do we in reality be with the wound? Cherish is not the word. <laughs> Instead, the wound is oftentimes shunned, shamed, or silenced. And then of the people that are learning to cherish the wound and they name the wound, the people that name the wound oftentimes are ostracized, scapegoated or gaslit just by naming the wound, by presencing the wound, by shining a light on the wound. So then hiding the wound becomes the thing that is cherished. I think of examples like six and stones may break my bones, but words would never hurt. That kind of denialism of the wound or when I was younger and getting into a fight with my older brother and every time he hit me, the thing that I kept saying was, that don't hurt, that don't hurt, that don't hurt every time. So what was cherished more was my resilience, my ability to endure. But a huge part of this freedom journey of turning your pain into power is saying, 
I hurt. And saying I hurt may be met with, you just don't know how to forgive, do you? Or why are you so sensitive? Or it's time to man up. Or child, you be all right. It may feel very invalidating when we cherish the wound and we presence it and we name it. But instead of translating it as invalidation, we could instead look at it as the person that we spoke it to has no space to be with our wound. Because oftentimes they have no space to be with their own wound. but naming the wound, presencing the wound. This is how we cherish the wound. And it may seem like something really simple, like saying, I hurt. However, it is deeply, deeply, deeply courageous. Thank you so much. I would love to hear about how this message moves through you in the comments section, or I'd love to hear also what is your relationship with the wound. And if you want to join me on this freedom journey, then please like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notifications because freedom is here. You can also find me at AntoinetteCooper.com and can sign up for my newsletter there. Be free.